Log entry 447. Dr. Matthias here. The ever-curious pursuer of knowledge stranded on this particular realm of extremis. Today's focus is the intricate tapestry of life that inhabits this world, the Mirren and the Humes. An endless source of fascination both in their individual uniquenesses and the potential they hold for my future clandestine experiments. Let us first peer into the convoluted history of the Humes. Born from the crystalline essence of some cosmic anomaly, their rapid evolution has led to an array of subspecies. The Dimmin, adaptable and elusive, the Strom, towering and robust, the Kanon, birth from the forest, the Skega, subterranean Neanderthals, and then there's the standard Hume the common yet various subject of my scrutiny. Their familiar disputes over their shared ancestry, though utterly trivial, provide me with endless entertainment. How blissfully ignorant they are on their interconnected cosmic origins. Imnaria, a land teeming with Hume subspecies, has become my primary focus. Each corner of its diverse landscape houses unique adaptations, the result of their incessant battles and territorial squabbles. Their disputes over lineage makes them the perfect specimen for my clandestine observations. It's truly amusing how they bicker and quarrel, oblivious to the interconnected web of their existence. Now on to the Mirren. A race of creatures spawned not from this cosmic essence, but from the very core of Extraeus itself. Soulless, their existence is merely utilitarian. Born of primal animals, their evolution has been sluggish, only recently achieving some semblance of what you could call an Iron Age. Primitives, yet strangely they are unified. The Mirren's innate bond and unspoken connection between subspecies is a peculiar phenomenon. Unlike the fractured Humes, the Mirren recognize that their strength lies in unity. This cohesion, though inconvenient, could be exploited for my future experiments. How curious that such Primitive beings display a sense of unity that their more evolved counterparts lack. As my observations continue, the Humes of Anaria remain the epicenter of my studies. Their unique properties, their impressive lifespans, and a strong physical constitution makes them ideal subjects for my experimentation. The secret locked within their very essence are the keys to unlocking the mysteries that still elude my return. Perhaps I can find others who see potential the use of this land as well. While staying in the shadows, I will manipulate the threads of Extraeus, weaving a narrative of discovery and experimentation. These creatures, unaware of their roles, dance unwittingly to the tune of my scholarly curiosity. As I navigate the labyrinth of Extraeus, my pursuit of knowledge and experimentation knows no bounds. End log entry 447. Dr. Matthias signing off. Soon the curtain will rise and the show will begin. Ha 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 ha.